I'm 30, and when this game first got big with millennials in college where I was exposed to it, I would steal cards during games and excuse myself to the bathroom to shred them and toss them. I've disliked this game for a long time. Well, if you didn't like the game, how about this? Just don't play it? Why? Bro, if I found out one of my homies was like, hey man, I gotta go take a shit real quick, bro, and just stole all the uh, unfunny cards and was ripping them up and flushing them, you know, wiping their booty hole with it. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be pretty mad. Not at the fact that they're tossing away some game cards, okay? You know, I'm not really a person to sit here and be all like, bro, you got rid of the ace of spades, man, screw you. I can just buy more cards. I'll be more offended by the fact that my homie's such a pussy ass bitch. Oh my God. Getting sick of constant negativity, searching for some clarity. Try to switch my mind around, reversing the polarity. And Anyways, how's it going, broskies? Yeah, that's right, you heard it here first. They're trying to cancel cards against humanity. Again. Now, anytime Cards Against Humanity comes up on my timeline and people are like, this game is so horrible, man. They have say, say such horrible things. And it's just like, you know, that's kind of like the point of the game. Like, Cards Against Humanity is literally South Park as a card game. Like, I thought I, I thought that we all knew and understood this, right? <laughs> I guess not, though. But I know what you guys understand is that uh, you guys should drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new or not. It's up to you. But I would really appreciate it if you did. Also, uh, I got a Discord server. Uh, link in the description. You guys should join that. That hoe i just be in there chilling sometimes also you know to get updates on the new videos because youtube is very very known to not send out notifications so uh yeah join if you don't want to miss any uploads or updates broskies but anyways so uh yeah cards against humanity the company that quite literally decided hey we're gonna donate to uh, some stuff uh, to protest the roe v wade decision or whatever and a bunch of people got really mad they were like what cards against humanity is woke i i can't believe it i don't want to spend money on this game and have it go to baby killers so they were like okay cool uh you can select an option that charges you more if you don't want it to go to that and we'll still donate it anyways and people were like super mad about it and now they're trying to say cards against humanity is evil they're not woke and then when they quite literally are they even had an lgbtq pack right like 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 a actual specific pack that you could buy online that was a bunch of jokes and cards written by like gay and trans people bro and people out here trying to say no they hate everybody they're so racist and it's just like yeah a racist company would hire a bunch of gay people to write a bunch of gay jokes for a game yeah they, they a racist company would definitely do that bro now some of you may be wondering all right yo lofi what started all this okay what card was so offensive uh it's this one right here demolishing that ass like a palestinian village uh it's a part of the i guess jewish pack that they made so like all the cards were written by people who were like jewish <laughs> so i mean if you pay attention to the news or anything like you know why this card is funny Right? Like, I mean, like, I'm sorry. You can't just joke about certain things and not others. That's kind of what Cards Against Humanity is. It's like, okay, everybody getting uh, a shot, okay? Like, everybody getting called out. Everybody getting made fun of. And if that isn't the definition of equality in America, then I don't know what is. Like, the entire point of the game, it's like Jackbox games, all right? You guys, you if you guys have played any Jackbox games, you know. You know how we all play that shit. If any of my Jackbox games answers got leaked, I don't think I'd ever be able to exist. But the thing is, that's the point of games like that. Like, they're overly offensive because they do satire right and it's actually funny because we all know that man i don't really think that uh hold up let, let, let me pull up another card <clears throat> what will end racism once and for all putting more black people in jail i don't think that there's very many people out there that are putting cards together like this and actually thinking yeah this will end racism yeah this card game definitely taught me how to be racist like nah bro that's like saying watching leafies here when you were 15 made you a bigot like, <laughs> if your opinions and, like, your way of life can be easily swayed by a card game, then I think that says more about you than the game. Like, this lady, okay, over here on Twitter, uh, how this tweet got so much attention, I have no idea, but, uh, she was talking, we were talking about, there's multiple petitions to stop this funky, evil-ass game because its target audience is just neo-Nazi alt-right edgelords. The founders of the game are a group of unapologetically awful white men, and you can tell because of all these terribly unfunny cards. If it's unfunny, why are you still playing the game? Like, like, I'm sorry, if you don't like a game, just don't play it. You know, that that is an option. And I think it's funny that this person was like, these cards are so unfunny, and they chose some of the funniest answers to, like, show the internet. <laughs> like, dude, I'm black, white, and Native American, all right? I'm gonna throw these pictures up on screen, and I will say, these cards are funny. 
Like, the, these cards are aimed, like, half of these examples are aimed towards me, and I think they're hilarious. The funniest thing to me is when people will take something that they don't like, either a TV show, a video game, and be like, man, there's not enough this, there's not enough that, oh my god, there's too many white people, you know, stuff like that, and it's just complaining for no reason. Like, I deadass saw someone on Twitter say that there's too many white people in the Wolfenstein games, and I was just like, are you... Do you not know when Wolfenstein was set in the universe that it's in? How, how are you complaining about a game where you literally kill Nazis and that's the, that's the whole premise of the game? Like, there, people are going way too far nowadays with so much of this stuff. And it's just like, you know what you could do? Just not play the game. You know, if you don't like something, just don't interact with it. I know, it's scary, it's crazy. Not paying attention to something you don't like is really really hard you can tell these are the type of people who like stalk their ex's page years after they break up and be like oh i can't believe that they're doing this i can't believe that they're doing that you know what you could do move on with your life just like with cards against humanity just don't pay attention to it there's definitely video games and you know stuff that i don't like and i'm not over here like man this game sucked i can't believe i wasted time money and energy on it you know what i'm just like i'm just like yeah it wasn't for me and i moved on with my life bro you know how many games are on my steam library that i wish i didn't spend money on like i'm sure someone else enjoyed it but i'm not over here trying to get it taken down off of steam and these are like grown ass people like at first i thought this was maybe some like 15 year old white girl dream stand who's all like this is offensive to people of color because you know that's kind of how it's been you know with everything getting canceled for all these types of isms and ists and Phobias, right like it's always been some like 15 year old little white girl who watches dream all day and doesn't know anything about the real world trying to cancel everything no nah, this is a 30 year old woman like they, there's, there's grown people who are now getting offended by everything bro what happened we all grew up in the same call of duty lobbies you know these are people who went to clubs back when they had 20 cent shots and they're over here like man everything is so offensive now and i'm just like how bro you you were alive during south park's peak what is wrong with you I genuinely think that people like this are just miserable on the inside. Like, there's no way you go about your everyday life always just thinking that everything sucks all day, every day. Like, yeah, the world is kind of shitty right now, but believe it or not, there's still some fun things to do. Like, I don't know, mind your business. I feel like too many people nowadays are all up in what everybody else is doing. It's just like, oh man, you're kissing a man behind closed doors? Uh, it's all I can think about all the time. Stop doing that, bro. Or it's just like, oh man, why do you need so many guns it's like because they're cool bro mind your business dog like who who cares who cares what i'm doing in the safety of my own home with whoever i want bro like if i want to play cards against humanity cool if i want to stick my dick in homeboy's ass who gives a shit like <laughs> i don't think any normal human being is thinking about what other people are doing this hardcore like, I'm sorry, but I'm not really worried about what my neighbor's doing or what he's watching or what video game he's playing because it doesn't affect my everyday life. Always think about it like this, okay? If someone else doing something you don't like is that detrimental to your mental health, uh, go get some therapy. Please. All right, ask your doctor for Xanax. It'll chill you the fuck out. Anyways, moral of this video is uh, Cards Against Humanity is awesome. I highly recommend you guys, you know, buy a game pack and play with your friends. It'll bring you all closer together. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a fat like on it. And if you're new, subscribe or not, it's up to you. But I'd really appreciate it if you did. Uh, sorry for no uploads the past two days. Work has been wilding. Uh, consistent uploads from here forth. <laughs> Try not to miss a day if I don't have to, you feel me? But, uh, yeah. I really hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I've been Lofi. Peace out, broskies.